This is a K24A2 head swap into a K24A4 cord. Although I kept, I retained the original valve cover from the K24A4. That was my mistake. And my intentions were to actually put the one from the TSX, which I have inside my garage. Right here, I'm pointing at the factory K24A4 cord. And as you can tell, 5W20 is the oil reading. On the Acura Integra TSX, it indicates 5W30, if I'm not mistaken. But this was an added bonus. I came across this at the junkyard for like six, eight dollars, which is really a great buy. It's like winning the lottery ticket, so I went ahead and got it. Couldn't beat it because this part right here is thirty-five dollars on eBay used. So this is a successful swap, and my dad recently fixed the VTC solenoid, which is the main culprit of the whole entire setup. If that's not connected correctly, if it's off by one, by if it's off, meaning like if the wire is not connected, it's gonna give you such drama. And after today, after we fixed it, we seem to tackle down the issue. Although I do recommend engine management. This part right here as well, right, be, right. This little part right here, you have a tiny little vacuum piping that goes from here and it leads to over here and it goes all the way over here well in this little area it's held by by two two bolts two two twelves i think size twelves if you're not cautious too right here there's two connections to the head also the one on the far right this one right here that connects to the head that one was problematic and we also addressed that issue but the one corporate of the whole entire setup was the fact that the the VTC solenoid harness when they when my mechanic pulled it off he he was rough on it because we only did it once you know it, it, this car has 180,000 miles so it's always kept the same head and it was running fine had perfect compression on all cylinders and so after fiddling with the VTC VTC solenoid it's, it goes into the head which is you know it goes in there then it's it's uh there's a harness electrical harness which supposedly is the something about the oil control it has two wires being i guess one ground one negative one positive if one of those things is not connected right your car's not gonna accelerate it's gonna behave pretty slow because those were my issues as i was driving to and from point a to point b at the light it will turn green and then i will step on the gas and it will hesitate so much but i mean by like eight to ten seconds well, it was so dangerous to be driving like that. So finally, after re-cleaning the wire from over here, from the VTC solenoid, which is inside, tucked in, uh, my dad went and helped me cut the thread, the wire, and he gave it a better connection. And he, I think he did some soldering to the wire. But yes, this is what I'm addressing. This was like successful. After all this and after this and that, this was like successful K24A2 head, TSX2 VTEC head. And I could vouch for that, man. The speed on it is incredible. I mean, I would still recommend. I don't even have it, but I'm, this is my next step is to get that because I was actually going to put a Type R transmission. But the next step right now is that the tr Type R transmission because I got a, the dreadful automatic, but even then, it's still fast with that transmission. Yet it's better to get a probably a TSX. You know, so it could just match up pretty good, but I'd rather go with a K20 AI, even the Civic Mugen Type R, the Lacrim Le Alacrim, or the Core URR, also K20 AI, or the Integra DC5, another Integra Type R, another True Type R, K20 AI. I was going to get the Type R transmission for one of those guys. Or me, more likely, I'll keep it to the true nature of the Accord, because this is an Accord. This is my baby right here. She's the love of my life, man. She's been treating me well, and I've been neglecting her. And I, I'm thankful to God, anyways, because with His help, the timing, eight, timing chain was somehow put correctly after He gave me an assistance. He made sure that it was put on correctly, that no tooth was off or no, because it, it shows you the diagram where you gotta align them. Because another master timing chain expert showed me how to put the chain, but I wasn't going to mess with that because I'm not really a mechanic, you know?
So what I'm saying, it goes back to the stage, back to the same thing about the issue. The VTC solar noise in here, it's in here, it goes to the head. And then over here, there's a wire harness. That was the problem to the whole setup. Because after having the car fixed, now I have a true K24A4 block with most of the core parts, but this is TSX. Now the head's TSX, the header's TSX, but it's aftermarket. That side. The injectors are also TSX. This is TSX. I have the TSX throttle, but it's digital it's electronic elect, electronic electronically controlled. So this throttle by cable will not function. But I seen the K20AI that this guy on eBay has. He has this from the K20AI and that one is up that one does plug and play, if I'm not mistaken. So it goes back to saying that for that this whole setup is plug and play, man. Even though the guy that I know is more familiar with these setups, I do address the fact that you do need K tuner or I won't say K Pro or K tuner. You need the hardware and the engine management, and then supposedly I got to get a, a ECU from a 2005 Accord because this is a 2004 Accord Coupe K series engine, and you have to get the ECU from the 2005 Accord. And then you get the K tuner, and then you address the engine management, which I highly agree. That's my next step, to be honest. Very important. But me being cheapskate, I wanted it just to put all the, the the boltons. But this one was like my hardest one, but it was done, man. I'm really thankful for this whole setup, man. This is one of the best boltons I could do, and I learned a lot too, man. I helped the two mechanics that they put it on, they install it. We did it in two days, although we should have done it in one day. And it was a learning experience, you know, because a lot of mistakes happened. One mistake was, like I said, one of the harnesses from the right-hand side from the head. That one was damaged as well. So I had to go to the junkyard and snap it off from a working cord that was that was there at the junkyard. And I got that piece and cut it. And I got two of them just to make sure if one was messed up. So it's very sensitive parts. And also the VTC solenoid, the harness back here. I also changed the... To be honest, I don't even think it even had matter if I changed the VTC, uh, I mean the the VTEC solenoid, because I saw the, the the gasket and it had a bunch of debris. It had to be cleaned out, so that was probably one important thing to do to it. But I just replaced the empaque, which is the the gasket. I bought it brand new, and I had a hard time putting it. In. in fact, trying to put that V that uh, VTEC solenoid, which is held by three threads, made me to break my radiator. I broke the other one, so I had to go and get this part. This part was like seventy dollars used. It, it, it broke from here because I had to get from my. I put my knee up here, then I got over here in the center right here. Before it had even this cover, so I had like a rag and a sponge, and you know, being in the state that I was in, I was very upset. So I, I pressed right here, and it just chipped off right here. So I had to do. I had to go and find the radiator and install it and it was a pain in the ass but I learned how to navigate and so now I learned that was a learning experience I know how to put the radiator how to take them apart and put them back on with clamps and everything all that stuff I learned I did this myself I did this swap myself the intake plenum and the manifold from the TSX I did all that uh, my brother helped me with this cheap little intake he did that and I did the I did the help I helped the mechanics put the head. If it has true VTEC, I would open this, but there's too much drama to do all that because you know I had to get all the parts. Yeah, I'm fooling the people because look, I got this as an accord. <laughs> so they think this is an economical accord, but I have it in my garage, which I'm selling. It's a perfect compression on that one. It's a perfect part. So yes, this is the K24A4 with a K24A2 head on a true chassis, a true K-series engine, not all this people wanting to get into this domain. This is already the domain, the proper domain. I'm already in the K-series lineup for the Accord. Two-door coupe. So, I pretty like this pretty cool stuff right here. This might give me off because people that recognize this know that this is the TSX and also the K24A3 European Union Accord Type S or whatever. Or type R for their for their environment. So it's a powerful setup, man. Hopefully I could hit, make some more updates on the videos. 
and I can upload those whenever I have time and money. I'll put, you know, the speed from the difference that I get. But I don't, I won't really recommend it right now because, like I said, it needs engine management. Although it's, it's so, you know, so what's the word I'm looking for? It's so appealing to get into it because, man, it goes pretty fast, especially with all these parts I have, you know, with the whole cap back, new catalytic converter, new headers, type R headers, then manifold. Man, it's a great setup. All my piping is pre pretty much new. And right now I need to get a take away this dreadful automatic transmission and put in a uh, K20AI type R transmission, a true type R transmission, specifically from a Civic Mugen. Or probably even a Accord Euro R, a CL7, a true Accord Euro R, or I could even get the Integra Type R, another K20 AI, a La Creme a La Creme. But I love the, these K Series engines; they're really powerful. And with that that much being said, I will repeat the whole procedure. Make sure you're very careful with the VTC solenoid in the harness. That's the problematic culprit of everything. Cause let me just say that this car had to get towed from my friend's shop all brought over here where the head was put in torque specifications were met and this part where over here was also problematic I had to replace that the way one that goes to the head because there's two two harnesses and it's the one on the far right that one right here we had to chop it off and also my dad reapplied you know electrical tape and he did some other stuff to it to keep to give it more insulation and keep it airtight so that it won't you know be fragile so that's one problem that we saw first and then the most co the most obvious culprit was right here the VTC the VTC solenoid that goes into the head that little harness if you're not careful that thing right there will cause acceleration problems your car will not function right it needs to be plugged in completely and both the two wires which one should be positive and negative have to be connected because if one's off you're gonna have problems from hell. But yes, this is a 2004 Accord Coupe. This is my machine, and I'm gonna keep updating my video and my profile on my channel so that you can follow me. Besides my music and me advertising my music, this is like my passion right here. Thank you. Thank you, God.